Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us play The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation Network. Uh, last time, we went through the Kashua Glacier and fought the Windigo boss in our quest to just get across his little icy area, and that's pretty much it. We got a few items, and that was pretty much it. We killed him, and now we're in the Tower of Flamvel trying to get to Lloyd. Um, something I want to do before we get started is... I want to put on Dart a Talisman, which avoids instant death, and also I want to put it on Maru. Um, we're going to find out in a little bit why. Where'd he go? I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. We want her and Dart to both have a... Um, instant death protection. A, let's just put it this way. In the boss fight coming up, uh, the two characters you want to be using Dragoon forms, you want them to have their talisman equipped so they're not going to be susceptible to the instant death attack. Um, Hachelle I'm not going to really care about, so I want Dart and Maru on that option. Um, let's see. In the meantime, let's just head on through these little glowing teleport thingies here. This is actually a pretty easy area to, to find stuff in. Just gotta get out of here. See uh, see where these uh, little glowing things are pointing? That'll take you to, like, whatever one of these little circles you're at right here. So we want to go here. And then we want to go... Let's see. I think we want to go... Let me see here. Um, I think we want to go here. I think this will take us to a room with a uh, nice little access accessory. Accessory, there we go. There we go. The Mage Ring, which recovers MP every turn. I think it's 10% of the MP. I'm not sure, though. Um, you know what? Let's get into battle and check that out, because we don't need the Talisman just yet. I just want to make sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, recovers MP every turn. So we'll get into a battle and check that out real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember what else we can do around here. Um, I think this just takes us to the teleporter room again. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, let's see. That'll take us here. Oh, so right where we were. Um, I think this is just a shortcut, basically. Or not. Okay, so this is kind of like a dead end then. Let me see here. Uh, actually, I think this takes us to the boss, actually. So let's go to those other teleporter rooms and see where else they take us. Because I'm not really sure, actually. See, I don't think there's really a whole lot of other stuff to get in here. Um, so let's just check. I want to get in that battle first, so real quick. Even though we're going to have plenty of battles later. And like I said, the enemies in this area are the same as the enemies from the last area. So we'll be fighting them. Of course, now I can't get into a battle. But, oh well, screw it. Oh, what did you guys know? Um, in the battle in the battle that I did to heal up my status and stuff, like, before we... Before I came to the uh, recording? Guess what? It was that enemy that was, uh... It was the uh, mammoth, the one that I couldn't find earlier. Okay, so apparently this is... Oh, uh, we can't get to those teleporters yet, I don't think. That's right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can't get to those just yet, so... Oh, well. We'll come back to those, I guess. Nope, right there. There we go. Are you going to get into battle for me now, or what? Because I'd rather just test it out now than later. You know what? Screw it. Let's go back to the beginning of the area. I don't think you can use the, the second teleporter in the room right here. If you can, then I didn't know about it. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think you can actually get to that. You can try. But it's just not going to happen. So, oh well. All right, you gonna give me that? Oh, here it is, the mammoth. 
like I said, he's Earth Elemental. Um, 1,280 HP. He drops a uh, stunning hammer after battle. Uh, immune to being erased. Um, a poison magic attack and a stun magic attack. So, kind of a bastard, actually. So, I'm going to try to... Well, luckily, because of his brownness, you can actually see your addition squares a little easier. So, let's hope we can actually hit him. Or not. Well, three seems to be the far as I can get right there. Ow. Okay. Um, let's let's see how much let's see how much MP Dart recovers. If he recovers ten, that's just ten percent. Okay, yeah. So it recovers roughly ten percent of your MP then. Very useful, actually. I might actually have to just uh, stick this on. Dart and Maru for a few turns, just to... Uh, oh, Dart, Maru has all her uh, MP, doesn't she? Okay, never mind. Um, I might just have to defend with Dart for a few turns in order to... I almost had that. In order to keep his MP at high. You know what? Hashel, we're gonna... Magic Six Stone you. There we go. Now he can't bother us for two more turns. I got it! Woohoo! That's one out of 80. So I just gotta be patient, apparently. Okay, so I finally got Maru's, uh... Maru's, whatchamacallit? Um, awesome. Alright, we're gonna keep you at a speed down just so I can defend with Dart and get his, uh... MP back. That's pretty much all we're... All I'm gonna do real quick right now, just to get some health back or MP. Uh, okay, you got one more turn, but luckily, I have a secret weapon. I can speed up. Yay! This way, I don't gotta waste any MP items. Very nice. Hashel, you can defend too. I'm not gonna worry about Hashel's uh, defense since I don't or mad, uh, MP since I don't care right now, since he's not gonna be a dragoon in the next fight. Just don't care. Okay, um, okay. Now this will be his last turn stun coming up here pretty soon, and then we can. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill him. So close. Oh well. At least I'm so happy I got Maru's uh, attack right there. I didn't think I would actually pull it off on screen. Ooh, we got this stunning hammer. Very nice. Stuns enemies, I think. Something like that. Not that I care too much, but oh well. Okay, so... Back to the teleporters. And we're almost to our destination here, so let's just get going, I guess. Go through here. Go through here. Those two teleporters are absolutely useless right here. Go through here so you go in here and where does this go again oh you go up there oh that's oh yeah this is useless up here because there's you know nothing up there so take this and this takes us to I think the save area There we go. Yeah, it takes us to a save point. Very nice. That doesn't look good. All our dragoon. Oh. Oh. Wait. We don't have the dra divine dragoons, divine dragons, dragoon spirit, do we? I don't think we do. Huh. That's odd. But anyways, let's try to save. I'm not sure if we can use these teleporters here. We can try, but I think they're not going to tell us no. Yeah, we can't use it. Okay. Um... Alright, so in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my amulet back on, or my talisman or whatever. And then, 
just to make sure this battle goes nice and easy and I'm not like failing miserably the whole thing, I am going to switch a few additions here. We're going to go for Crush Chance with Dart, and we're going to go for Hammer Spin with Maru. There we go. This way I can actually hit the damn things. Excuse me. Alright. Alright, we're good to go. So let's go in here, and we got a boss battle. And dialogue and stuff. Hey, Lloyd's got a new cape. Wait, I thought... I thought he wasn't able to use the Divine Dragon's Dragoon power. Or something. So is that the Divine Dragoon's armor, or what? It is! I thought you weren't able to use this stuff. That's not something we need to let happen. What do you mean, the evolutionary plan? Okay, yeah, the 106th, yeah, okay. 107th, but there was 108, so whoever's above you is a... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, who's the last species? See, so, he's not hes not trying to get the, uh, the Wingleys back in power, he's trying to get the 108th species into power. Okay, that's what the last item was, it was a gem. I was thinking some other kind of weapon, but there's the gem, the mirror, and the dagger. Okay. And what do you know, we get boss fight with Lloyd, nice and fast here. Beautiful. Alright, and he appears to be a divine dragon thingy. But luckily, I have my additions now, so we're actually gonna yes. not fail at this battle. Yes. Or we are, since I gotta get the timings back down. Okay, um... There we go. Beautiful. Much better. Much better. Okay, uh, Lloyd, by the way, um, as you can probably guess, he is going to be non-elemental. He has uh, 6,800 HP. Um, he can evade attacks. He can do this uh, fancy attack he's going to do right here. Um, well, he has three different magic attacks. Uh, one attacks all allies all the time. Um, one attacks one ally or all allies and the other one attacks one ally so I think this is the one where he attacks all allies all the time which I think is called limit point special which is his wingly magic um, he's also still pretty evade -y, e so he likes to evade a lot ow this is gonna hurt yikes that did a lot of damage Luckily, I don't think he's going to use that non-stop, so we're good with that. Um, let's see, uh, he has a couple regular attacks, too. Um, he also has an attack where if he turns into a Dragoon, he will attempt to use his uh, Dragon Buster uh, sword to one-hit kill you as a Dragoon. Luckily, though, if you have the Talisman equipped, he, uh, which prevents one-hit kills, he won't be able to do anything to you. And besides that, he'll spend all of his turns trying to attack the Dragoon. So, it's beautiful. So, so what you want to do is you want to have one person as a Dragoon, either Dart or Maru, basically, and he's going to keep on trying to kill him with the uh, with these uh, d uh, Dragon Buster attack, and it's not going to work. So, he's going to waste all his energies trying to kill that one person instead of like trying to kill you, and it makes the boss fight so much easier. And I think he's vulnerable to uh, speed down, so I'm going to use that on him. Alright, Maru is nice and happy as a Dragoon. And let's see, Dart, you want to... Stop screwing with my camera angle for one. There we go, beautiful. Got some SP. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate between Dart and Maru being, uh, Dragoons. That way, he's always trying to focus on killing one Dragoon, uh, one Dragoon, basically. 
makes the boss fight so much easier because he's not going to be focusing his uh, energies on multi killing everybody else. Because I think the way his enemy script is set up is that he's uh, he's always going to try to kill the dragoon if there's one on the field. But if he can't kill him, then he's going to try to kill him again. And he's going to try to kill him again. And he's going to try to kill him again. So basically he's not going to attack like anybody else. So it's beautiful. Uh, Maru, how about you go ahead with a... Freezing Ring. He doesn't have any drops or anything, by the way, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I can't tell if that actually is the Divine Dragon armor, or if that's just like some pimp new armor he's got for this battle. I don't think it's ever actually explained, or if it is, I forgot. Why do you insist on screwing with my camera angle, like, every time you do something? Alright. Dart should be able to transform into a Dragoon pretty soon here. I think, I think right as Maru finishes up with her dragon, Dragoon Nissi. Uh, you know what? Let's see how much damage uh, Hashel does with a Thunder Elemental attack. Since I, I figured out that you do do more damage if you're the same element as the item that you're using. So I never realized that. So I want to see how much damage it'll actually do to him. Uh, let's see, we got... Let's see, we got... Thunderbolt, I guess. So that's about it. So let's see how much it does. Of course, I am kind of cheating by using a turbo controller, but... Oh, well. 204 damage. Well, that kind of sucked, but... Oh, well. Yeah, he's just going to try to kill Maru again and again. So, really easy way to make this boss fight so much easier than it needs to be. Sure, he does a little bit of damage, but he's not going to kill her. You know what? Um, I want to save your MP for healing, mostly. What the heck? I totally pressed that in the right spot. No? Yeah, he, see, he's very evade -y. He likes to evade, like, a lot, so kind of a bastard move, but oh well. Uh, let's see, with any luck, I can actually get... Okay, uh, Dart, I want you to... I want you to be a Dragoon for all five turns, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hope that he doesn't attack me, damn it. I was hoping he wouldn't get a chance to attack me before I Dragooned. And then I was going to uh, speed up and power up Dart. Oh, that's not very bad at all. That'll hurt Dart a little bit, but it's not going to kill him. Yeah, he uses, like, random all-elemental magic attacks, I think. So, and he's fast, of course. Ow. Okay, uh, Hashel, let's, um... Uh, Power up dart. And then let's speed him up. And if that doesn't work... Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, speed up. And whoever's next is going to speed down Lloyd, since they can't speed him down. And that'll make him even easier. There we go. Let's see if we can't do a perfect Dragoon attack here. Or not. Did I miss him? I think I missed him. And he's gonna try to kill me instead. He's a vicious little bastard, isn't he? But, it's ineffective. Okay, Ashel, you want to, uh, heal Maru there? No? Alright. 
I forgot about the speed down, damn it. Oops. There we go. That's what I need right there. Speed down. Come here, you little bastard. Goodbye. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, dart. Let's try this again. Hope we don't miss. Perfect. Perfect. At least with additions, you miss right away. And you know you missed right away. But with Dragoon additions, you don't know you missed until, you know, you actually miss. Ooh, perfect. Beautiful. Okay, Maru does need to get some attacks in so she gets her Dragoon powers up. Or SP up, I mean. Very nice, I love it. So much better when it's actually easy to hit. You're not gonna kill me, so I don't see why you even try. I don't think he's trying to kill me now. I think he's just focusing his attacks on me. Oh, he is trying to kill me. Okay. But we're invincible, so don't even try, buddy. Don't even try. Over here. You bastard. You did that in the Tournament of Champions, too, or whatever that thing was. I'm surprised he just doesn't, like auto evade all our attacks like then. That would make his job of killing us so much easier if he just didn't get hit by us. I guess he wants to I guess he wants to give us a fair chance or something. Other than that, I'm not really sure what he's doing. See I got I got this timing down perfectly since it's a nice easy attack. I don't even have to look at the screen to do that. But the other damn additions I can't pull off to save my life. And you know what, let's see how much damage we're going to do with the final burst here, since uh, we don't have our powered up Dragoon Edition anymore, so probably do like 400, 500 damage, something like that, which is still decent. How much you do? How much you do? How much you do? Don't you dare miss! I'll hurt you if you miss. Ooh, 600 damage! Perfect. I thought I was, I was expecting like 400 or 500. This actually works out pretty well. Let's see. Shell. There we go. Nice. 400 damage. Very nice. You know, I probably should. I probably should have used the power up on Shell since. That probably would be doing more damage, or as much damage as uh, his uh, Dragoon Edition. See, if he wasn't trying to constantly kill me all the time, he'd be magicking us up and all sorts of killing us real fancy like and stuff, and we'd be all dead by now. So, it's good that he's single minded in his pursuit of killing Dragoons. Not good for him, but definitely good for us. All right, let's go for another 600 damage. He's actually going to go down like pretty damn fast here. He doesn't have too many more turns left in him, that's for sure. Like one or two at least. A couple more good hits and he's done. Is he actually dead? Okay. He's actually dead. Well, or not dead, but escaped. Same general thing. Oh, or not. 
Damn, I thought he was dead there for a second. Oops. Oh well. I guess he just wants to get in this final attack before we smoke his ass. Shell, how about you fork over the healing items? Eh, yeah, healing breeze should be fine. Yeah, that's more than enough. Alright, perfect. Uh, Maru, I want you to get one more miss, I guess. I was gonna say one more level of Dragoon power so you could be in dragoon form more, but I guess not. Oh, this is one of his. This is his other magic attack that's not elemental. His wiggly elemental magic attack, I guess you could call it. And yes, it does hurt. Not as much as that other one, but luckily it's only one person, so very nice. Very less lethal that way. And there we go. He's dead. Even though he looked like he evaded that, but he's a tough little bastard. Yeah, if you don't have if you don't have the talismans equipped to to uh make this easier, it'll be a rough battle on you. Very rough. Looks like he's still got plenty of action left in him. Oops. Uh, we were aiming for the other dude, not you, chick. Oops, that sucks. Sacred Sister... Sacred Sister Wink is... slashed. I'm not sure if she's dead, but... Ouch! How the fuck did she teleport up here anyways? I hope you didn't like kill her, because that would really suck. Since she was pretty innocent, and she was actually kind of pretty, actually, since we never really saw her from the front. Or not not that much, we never got that good of a view, but I like the long braided hair. It's nice, I like it. Well, you've only saved her like nine times, so she's just returning the favor. An eye for an eye, something like that, or a life for a life. I think that's the one, a life for a life. Wait, what? Wait, so they took away Teresa and Shauna? Well, I know, I know, uh, I know Lloyd didn't do it, but... Oh, Emperor Diaz, that little bastard. Web, huh? 
Yeah, I guess he got tired of waiting for you. You might have thought he might have thought that you wouldn't be able to handle the dragoons by yourself, which is true. Wait, since he wants you and the moon objects, why don't you just like take them there yourself? Oh, okay, that's why. Wait, your task were just to gather the moon objects. That's it. You know, when you punch them, that doesn't do a whole good job of killing them unless you use your sword with the punch. Wait, what do you mean, see it through to the end? Oh, it's gonna see what is, uh... Actions of Rot, okay. I didn't kill him, but I punched him real good, so that's close enough, right? This is like the... Shadow was already held hostage once from some odd reason at the beginning of the game. I don't know why, but she doesn't need to be kidnapped again. Oh, there's Queen Teresa. I totally forgot about her. Yeah, that's true, but why can't we just all get along? I mean, that was like 11,000 years ago. I'm sure you could forgive them for doing that that long ago. I'm not sure what the Utopia Emperor Diaz and Lloyd are after anyways, except for the 108th race, 108th race is involved. Yeah, you gotta come with us. We're stuck with you. Oh, so Wink's, al Wink's alive. Okay. I wasn't sure if she would actually survive that. I really didn't mean to slash you. It really was an accident. You could at least have Miranda heal you or something. I thought she was cute. Oh, or that. We got the moon mirror, we got the moon dagger, and the one I could never remember, the moon gem, which surprisingly was the first one, so you'd think I would have remembered that, but oh well. Uh, but anyways, now we can go to that other teleport area, so we're going to go do that. We get a nice little item out of it, so it's worth our while. It's nothing special, but it's special enough. So let's go in here. I don't think there's anything in the area where you fought Lloyd. We can check, but I'm almost positive there's like nothing up there. Like at all. Yep, a whole lot of nothing up here. Can't even examine the area that Lloyd was trying to use for his utopia.
Oh well, we tried. We tried. But anyways, the main purpose of coming up here is over here. And what do we get for coming all the way up here? We get Magician Faust, um, the commander of the super mobile fort Flanvel. Below is the land of Taboo. Nobody is allowed to pass through if you would like to stay alive. Okay, I'm going to leave. I just want that treasure chest, bro. Um, you do not want to fight him right now because he will destroy you. So ignore him, grab the therapy ring, and run like a little bitch. Because if you try to fight him right now, he will destroy you utterly and completely and... You will cry yourself to sleep after you after you lose. So just ignore him at all. If you do manage to touch him and get into a battle with him, um, run away because it's not going to end well for you, like at all. So yeah, just don't even try. Oh, so that's where that takes us. Okay, um, where does this go? Still, I. I'm gonna remember that at some point. I don't get I don't get the point of this teleport right here. I don't know if you can ever actually use that teleport in the first room. If you can, I don't remember it. We might use it later, but we certainly can't use it now. Alright, so I want to put my other additions back so I can continue to fail at those things. And we get we can get rid of the talismans now too. Let's see, what did I have on those guys anyways? I think uh see Dart you had like the spirit ring, but you don't need that. Um Let's give you the Let's see the power wrist, the You know what? Let's put him on the therapy ring. He's going to be using that eventually, so we might as well get him to use it right now. Um, let's see. And we want Maru to have the we want Maru to have the Yeah, the attack badge. There we go. Nice attacking boost. Beautiful. You know, I'm sure Natural Selection would not have had a giant spider in rainbow pattern, so... I'm not sure why this guy is so brightly colored. He looks like one of those little, um, those little balls with like a bunch of like little, uh, they're like rubber and they have like a bunch of like little like uh, stubs you can pull and they're really fun and kind of awesome and stuff. I don't know what the heck they're called, but they're they look a lot like that. They look a lot like the spider thing, except you know without the legs. So close. I'm gonna get this addition eventually, just like I said, not today. I shall why do you insist on missing? Okay, why do you insist on missing? Dart, if you miss two, I'm gonna be very, very sad here. Okay, the good thing about the therapy ring is you pretty much never have to re uh, defend since you always get the benefits of defending without, you know, defending. Except for the damage reduction, but oh well. And if you do defend, then it's cumulative, so you get 20% of your HP back, so it's very nice. You countered on the wrong hit, you bastardizing son of a shit. Look at all this SP we're getting. A whole 20 SP for this attack right here. Or 15 SP, there you go. It does it does turn out very powerful towards the end, but it's not very 
powerful or SP powerful like ever. I don't think it ever goes past 15 SP, which is I think the absolute lowest for like any edition. Um, we'll use our charm potion next area. All right, now we can use our charm potion. Actually, no, we don't need to use it here because this is all the uh, icicles, or maybe we do. Screw it, icicles, charm potion, something. Don't you dare get in a battle. We don't have very much of this episode left since we're just going to the uh, next area, not actually entering it, so... Yeah, we don't have a whole lot left this episode. We're just going to go to the place where our destination is, and that's about it. Both of these boss fights we had the last episode and this episode were pretty easy, actually. I mean, neither one was all that difficult. The first one, just because it was easy to flame him to death, literally. And Lloyd, because he was just pretty easy with the being a dragoon, even though that was supposed to be the weakness. Don't worry, we got we got some decent bosses coming up, though. So, ooh, look at that! Look at that killing in action right there. Beautiful, isn't it? Damn it! Damn you, counterattacks! I hate you with a burning passion. You okay? Why can't you counter like a hit that doesn't fail? You bastards! You're choosing the wrong counters, or the right for you, but the wrong for me. Chomp. That's not good for my health. Well, it doesn't matter about my health right now since it recovers every turn. Damn it. I kind of like it when he doesn't kill him automatically, though, because then you have less chances to grind additions and SP and stuff. But, ah oh well. You gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. See, how many, how many, uh, how many of those additions has he master, uh, pulled off now, anyways? Let's see. I don't think it's more than, like, ten, that's for sure. Oh, twenty. Okay, there you go. There you go. And what do you know? It's automatically his most powerful addition. Because, let's see, what does Five Ring Shattering turn out to be, anyways? Um, I know Five Ring Shattering might have better SP, but it's not going to have better uh, damage. Let's see. Oh, actually, actually, Five Ring Shattering is not too bad. It tops out at 300 damage and uh, 50 SP, whereas this one tops out at 400 damage and 15 SP. So it's not too bad, actually. It's not great, but it's decent. Will you climb the damn ladder, dude? And there, we're finally out of this damn place. We never ran- we never did run into your brothers. So... You know what, we could always use another charm potion. No, not the weapons. Yeah, I know about your brothers, but I don't really care since I haven't seen them. Go away, dude. Not you, you fuck. Your, your brother, not your other brother, this brother. There we go. Will you... There we go. Alright, we need some items, like a healing fog, and a charm potion, and another charm potion, and there we go. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay out of here, brothers, for you, don't worry. Alright, get out of here. We're almost there. Almost. You know what? Let's bust out our charm potions for this little tiny area right here, and hope it works. You want to go around the sign there, dude? Oh, yeah. Not, okay. The reason why I came up here is because we can finally exit through this area without Miranda yelling at us. Very nice. 
And here's our next destination right here. Well, Velweb, or whatever we gotta go to. Yeah, Velweb, so, or Snowfield. Um, Velweb is after this. But yeah, here's our next destination is the Snowfield. And we're gonna take care of that next time. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.